Did you know that as well as the plugins and effects that we have here in GarageBand, we can also download other applications and use them as effects here in our projects? Well, we can do it. And in this video, I'm going to show you how. Let's go. Hi, my name is Pete and this is Studio Live Today, where I help you create, record and release your best music. And what we're going to show today is how we can download an application from the App Store that is an effect that we can use here right within GarageBand. It's very cool and it's very easy to do. So the first thing we need to do is jump over to the App Store and find a plugin to download and use here in GarageBand. And here we are in the App Store on my iPhone, the same process on the iPad. We're going to tap on search here and we're going to search for Audio Damage, who are the makers of some very cool plugins, including a couple of free plugins that we can use right here on our iPhone or our iPad. So we've looked at Rough Rider 2 in a previous video, and I'll link to that one up the top and down in the description. But for this one, let's download Fuzz Plus 3, which is a distortion and filter plugin. Now, if you've already downloaded it like I have, you'll have the little cloud icon we're going to tap on that one. It will download. If you don't have that, you'll just have to hit the get button and then download it. So it'll download and be ready to go. But we're not going to open it here. We're actually going to use it from within GarageBand. So let's jump back to GarageBand now and show you how we do that. Back in GarageBand now. So here we are in one of my projects and I've got a bunch of tracks here. You can select any track you like. And then to add an effect here using an audio unit extension, we tap on the mixer button up here in the top left. If you're on a smaller device, it may be in the top right and you'll need to select that. And then we'll come down to plugins and EQ. Now, if we tap on the blue edit button here, we can now add a new plugin by tapping on the green plus button. But if you don't have a green plus button there, say you've already got all of the effects there, you may need to edit and remove an effect. So we'll remove that one there, make sure we've got a place to put this new plugin. We'll now press the plus button. And instead of choosing the GarageBand effects, which are all very good, and I've got a heap of videos about those, which will be linked up the top and down below as well, we're going to tap on audio unit extensions. And what this does is this goes to the rest of our iPhone or our iPad, and it finds any applications that we've installed that can be used as an effect. And we can also use these for instruments and a bunch of other things which we'll show in future videos. But for the case of this video, we're going to use these as an effect. Now, you'll also notice down the bottom here, we have all of these other Apple plugins. These are free AU plugins that you can download and use right now. And I've got another video which shows you how to access, download, and use those, which again will be linked up the top in the description and at the end of the video. But for now, what we're going to do is we're going to find Fuzz Plus 3. We're going to tap on that, and that has now enabled this effect here on our track. With any of our audio unit extensions to actually change the settings, we just tap on the little icon next to the plugin there. And this is the cool part. It opens up that application, but still within GarageBand. So we can now go ahead and adjust all of the settings that we have here within the plugin. And then we can actually use it right here in GarageBand. We don't have to leave the, the application. It's all within GarageBand. So if we tap on done there, that has actually set this plugin here. So what I'm gonna do now, let's play back. Let's solo this track and take a listen to what the Fuzz Plus sounds like on our bass track. So let's turn it off first by tapping on the blue button here and if we play it without the plugin it sounds like this. And now let's turn up the fuzz by tapping on the blue button here and hit play. And you can hear immediately we're hearing the effect of that distortion plugin. Now, I have set it a little bit uh, differently than what I normally would. So let's just adjust this now. And we can actually adjust it as we play. So what I'll do is I'll play it back and I'll adjust the plugin to get the sound that I want. So there we go. That's about what I want with this plugin. Now, there are so many different types of plugins. There's compressors, there's EQ, there's flange, there's chorus, there's distortion. You name it, you can download a plugin. And there are some that are free, and there's some that actually cost you as well. So you can spend a lot of money if you buy a lot of audio unit plugins. But there's a heap of free ones, including those Apple ones, that you can start out with, and then you can expand your collection. And seriously, the sky's the limit. You can download a bunch of different plugins and get a bunch of different effects on your tracks here in GarageBand.
Now, before we finish up, a couple of words of warning. If you go ahead and start adding a bunch of different effects to every single track, you are going to see some degradation of performance. So your iPad or your iPhone may slow down, you may get more optimizing performances, and you may even find that your GarageBand will crash from time to time, depending on the number and type of plugins that you're using. The other thing to keep in mind is that if you use a plugin and then share this project to another device or with another person that doesn't have the plugin, it's not going to work. So if you have that problem, you can actually merge the track. And once again, I've got videos showing how to do that. Merge it down into a standard audio recorder track that will bake those compressor settings or those effect settings into your track. And then you can share that with someone who may not have those plugins. So there's ways around it, but I just wanted to make sure that you're aware of those before you start going and throwing every plugin on every track. There you go, how cool are audio unit extensions? We can use them as effects. We can really expand our library of plugins and effects here in GarageBand. Now make sure you subscribe to the channel because we've got a heap more reviews that are coming up on a bunch of different plugins. So stay tuned for those. Head to studiolifetoday.com for more audio goodness and I'll see you next time.